Hello everybody, Mark, aka the Nerdy Punk, with you today for a new video. Hope you all are doing well. Um, I haven't really done a video like this before, but I wanted to jump on real quick and talk about the new announcements for the Criterion Collection for July of 2024. So, I wanted to do this. I know a lot of people have done reaction videos when Criterion announces their new titles, um, and I haven't done it before, but this month uh, for July... They have some really, really great announcements. So I wanted to kind of go through the Criterion website here and uh, talk about these, I think, five titles that were announced for July, almost all of them 4K. So they got this really cool screen on the homepage of the website here for the July titles. So we'll go ahead and shop now. I'm obviously not going to buy anything yet, but um, July is when Barnes & Noble usually does their 50% off sale. So I'm really excited that so many great titles are coming out for the sale this year, and I am already doing a little bit of preparations for the uh, wish list, because I actually skipped the November sale, I believe. I don't think I ordered anything from the November sale. Maybe I ordered like two or three titles, uh, but that's very rare for me. <laughs> Usually I go a little crazy, but I am trying to kind of contain myself a little bit, you know, with budgetary constraints and all that. So, but it's going to be tough to contain myself here with July because there's so many great titles. So first of all, we have <clears throat> Risky Business, which is available on July 23rd. Um, this is, of course, a classic film from the 1980s, a film that I actually haven't seen before. So uh, it's one of those classics. It's kind of a blind spot for me. So this would be a great time to pick it up and check it out. Uh, this is a 4K release. I don't know if this has a mainstream 4K release. This may be the first... 4K release of the film, of course, starring a young Tom Cruise. So there's some information about the film. You can watch a trailer, of course, if you want. And then all kinds of information about the special features and supplements. This will be Spine 1227 in the Criterion Collection. So you have that one. I'm excited for it. I'll probably pick it up at some point. I don't know if I'll pick it up in July, but uh, we'll definitely get to that one. It'll be a great time to watch it, of course. Next one here, also available on July 23rd, Farewell, My Concubine, a film by Chin Kaig, or Kaij. I hope I'm saying that right. Not familiar with this filmmaker. Um, I've heard the name of this film before. I can't remember in what context. But I remember reading something about the film, maybe on Reddit or Letterboxd or something like that. Um, it says, a breathtakingly intimate romance unfolds among a sweeping, sweeping backdrop of social upheaval in renowned director Chen Kai's sup subtuous saga of passion, fate, and transcendent possibilities of art. So, sounds very interesting. I'm considering picking this one up in the sale. It's from 1993. It's from China, and it is Spine 1228. So, and then there's some information about the special features. It's got a 4K release, of course. So, in the sale, it will be uh, 25 bucks. So, that's title number two. Third title here available on July 16th. I realized I've kind of done this backwards by release date. My bad. <laughs> um, Black God, White Devil. I know absolutely nothing about this film. Premise sounds interesting. Uh, it's a Brazilian film from what I could tell. Myth, mysticism, and revolution collide in blistering existential western from Glauber Rocha. Hopefully I said that one right as well. Uh, the father of Brazil's socially committed cinema novo movement so this one i definitely will not be picking up in july but let me know in the comments if you've seen this film it's from 1964 from brazil it's by 1225 and there are your special features i think this is the only release for the month that does not have a 4k release just a blu-ray quick break here cheers guys Um, 
next one is the one I'm probably most excited for here. And that is Perfect Days by Vim Vendors. So I've only seen one Vim Vendors film, but I loved it so much. It's Paris, Texas. I adore that movie. And uh, this movie's gotten a lot of buzz. It got nominated for an Oscar for uh, Japan's International Feature nominee. And uh, I've just heard nothing but incredible things about this film. So I'm excited to check it out. And of course, Criterion will be the perfect way to check it out. So it's, uh, from what I hear, a very subtle, very kind of emotionally hard-hitting piece of filmmaking from Vem Vendors. Wouldn't expect any less. And I've also heard some great things about the music in this film, that it's really great in terms of needle drops. And I love a good needle drop in a movie. So very excited for that aspect of it as well. It's a dual production from Japan and Germany. I believe the film is, yep, all in Japanese. It is Spine 1226, releases on July 16th of 2024. And there are your bonus features. You get trailer for the film, your cast, and credits. Next one. This may or may not be a 4K upgrade. I'm not entirely sure. This film sounds familiar. Jean-Pierre Melville is, of course, a very familiar filmmaker. I couldn't tell you offhand what films he's made. Never seen any of his films, but I know that name. I've heard it many times in the context of Criterion. This is Les Samurai, obviously French film. Uh, in a career-defining performance, Alain Delon, who I do know I'm very familiar with with uh, that name and again not sure i've seen one of his films i maybe have maybe not um <laughs> plays jeff costello a contract killer with samurai instincts that kind of almost reminds me of ghost dog from jim jarmusch in terms of just the premise of like a western uh person who adopts the um, samurai kind of code so should be interesting it is a 4k upgrade it's originally spine number 306 from France, 1967. And there are your special features. And then the final title, so it's actually six titles being released this month for July. And this one is Pat Garrett and Billy the Kid, directed by Sam Peckinpah. I'm not a big Western fan, I'll be honest. <laughs> um, I really don't care for Westerns usually but there's the occasional Western that I really like. And uh, I'm not entirely sure about this one, but I think I will be picking it up. Maybe in the July sale, I may wait a little bit later. But the reason why I'm so intrigued by this is A, the cast. It's got Chris Christopherson in it, which is pretty cool. Um, it also has Bob Dylan in it. And Bob Dylan wrote the soundtrack for the film. And it features the original version of Knocking on Heaven's Door. Uh, and I'm a big Bob Dylan fan. I love that song, of course. I mean, it's one of the greatest songs ever written. So <clears throat> him being involved has me intrigued. And it sounds like an interesting Western, to say the least. So probably going to pick this one up and give it a chance. It's from 1973. Of course, in English, uh, Spine 1224. It also has this really cool digipack style release, which is nice to see Criterion bringing back the, the solid artwork. It comes with four discs <laughs> if you get the 4K version, so it's going to be a little bit more expensive. You're going to have to pay 35 in a sale for this, but it seems like it's going to be worth it. It comes with all these discs because there's so many different versions of the film, and when I was reading into the film a little bit today... Um, I saw a lot of commentary about which version was the best. <clears throat> it has the 15th anniversary release. Um, it's got the original theatrical release. It's got audio commentary. <laughs> so you've got all kinds of different versions of the film, commentaries, that kind of thing. So it should be a very interesting one to check out. And I will probably pick it up and check it out. It comes out on July 2nd, so the beginning of the month. All right, that's going to kind of wrap up my thoughts here. I'll do some more Criterion coverage as we get closer to the summer with the sales coming up and all that. Um, I am kind of getting back into Criterion mode 
I know I haven't done a Criterion video in a while, but wanted to come on here and talk about a lot of these great releases that are coming up for the summer. So go ahead and let me know in the comments down below which release you're most excited for, what you're going to pick up in the July sale. And uh, before we know it, it'll be here. So hope you have a rest, a great rest of your week, and I will see you guys later. Bye.